Hey, it's Dawn and you're watching Growing Up Chaotic, the channel where I candidly share with you how I survived growing up in an alcoholic, drug addicted, mentally, emotionally, and physically abusive family. If I can survive and thrive after all of that, I have no doubt that you can too. Today's video covers two of my favorite topics, abuse and denial. Abuse of any kind to any degree is never acceptable, right? Now that's a no-brainer for the average person, but in dysfunctional families, abuse is a key essential. Now the last time that I checked, the act of tolerating inappropriate behavior is called being in denial. So without denial, the mental, emotional, and physical abuse would cease to exist because we wouldn't put up with it. We wouldn't allow it to happen. There would be no more black eyes or broken bones, and there would be no tolerance of the sick and manipulative um, behaviors that keep that cycle churning. Without denial, my grandfather would have intervened when he saw the purple bruises and fingernail dents in my mother's neck. Without denial, my father would have stepped in when my stepmother would become verbally abusive and call me a whore and a tramp repeatedly. And without denial, my aunt would have never left me at my mother's house while she was in a drunken rage, knowing full well that she would be extremely physically abusive to me. It really pisses me off whenever I think about how often my family skirts around the many elephants in the room. I will never understand how you can watch all of this abuse and addiction going on around you and absolutely say nothing and do nothing about it. I don't get it and I never will. But what I do know, what I have learned over a very long period of time, is that even if other people want to remain in denial, if that's their comfort zone, that doesn't mean that I have to fall in line, okay? When you decide to step out of the dark, I'm telling you right now <laughs> that you will be outnumbered, you will doubt yourself, because you will wonder why no one else is speaking up, and then you'll think, well, what's wrong with me? How come nobody else is seeing what I see? and you will meet very strong opposition, okay? You will get a lot of unsolicited advice about what you're doing or what you shouldn't be doing from people who have no idea what they're talking about and who are living with their heads up their asses. Don't listen to any of that, ignore them. You keep on living your truth, okay? Because hopefully what will happen is you will actually end up inspiring them to also step out into the light and start seeing that accepting abuse of any kind to any degree is never acceptable. But don't hold your breath waiting for that. You don't need anybody else's stamp of approval to live your truth. Now, I would love to hear from you in the comments section below. I, I would really be interested in hearing about how you deal with denial in your family or if it's something that maybe uh, stops you from speaking your mind because you're afraid that you'll be the only one and no one else will see it the way you see it. If you think you know someone that could benefit from this topic, please share this video with them. And of course, you can follow me on Twitter at Growing Up Chaotic, and you can follow me on my blog at www.growingupchaotic.wordpress.com. You can also get some additional insight and inspiration there as well. That's all that I have for today. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.